all right so here we go getting back into the assassin's creed game it's been a very long time since i've done something aside from call of duty i guess on this channel and it's been a long time too since i've actually played this game I actually played it back when it first came out but i don't know i guess i was too into to other stuff at the time and i just fell out of favor with it but I mentioned in my last video, I think it was my last video, how I God of War one of the few games that I completed uh, completely with the uh, trophies and everything. I platinum. I don't know why I just said it like that, but I 100 well, not really 100% completed it because all the, the DLCs came out, so I don't know if it counts. But like the OG game, definitely got, I think, both Assassin's Creed Origins and Odyssey. There was an achievement to 100% complete the game, so I guess I did 100% complete the two games. Because I would need that in order to platinum, so I think I did technically 100% complete those two games. And uh, same thing with God of War, the uh, the reboot of course, the Viking version. And uh, yeah, jumping back into this one right now, I think I'm probably gonna put some time into this and uh, try and get the platinum on this one as well. Since I've been back, I've been pretty much enjoying it. You can tell I'm still somewhat at the beginning of the game right here. Freaking just met Seagrid, met back up with him, and jumping into this mission right here. But, uh, yeah, man, I'm really enjoying it. I'm moving pretty slow, actually, because since I am trying to get the uh, Platinum Trophy, I keep getting distracted by it. Because in this game, unlike the other games, you got to get, like, all the wealth and artifacts and... And discover all the mysteries in each region so I've been doing that every time I see like a little shiny gold thing on on my map or a white one or a blue one I, I freaking just veer off and do that but hold on let's see here can I hit this guy uh, daddy bro come on what's up with my aim the controller the ps5 controller for me feels kind of sticky actually that's why I kind of struggled there what the hell this guy didn't die they shot goodbye but yeah it feels kind of sticky but anyway going back to the whole getting the platinum on this game thing so when I whenever I see like the wealth stuff I go and try and find that there's been some that's actually been a little bit hard to find because they're you either need a key and the uh, character the NPC with the, the key doesn't spawn which is kind of weird and then there's others where I just don't know how to get underground and then when I do look it up on the internet it's actually really simple but I'm still kinda at the beginning of the game so my bow and arrow isn't powerful enough and I guess these guys are shooting arrows through windows and hitting the locks on the other side of the building in order to unlock the door or some shit like that so yeah I've been going slowly actually you know what assassinate this guy this is one achievement here get 10 assassinations in a row without getting detected I think that's what it is but might as well do it here what was that two three uh, yeah I shot the first guy with an arrow that's sleeping guy that's two this guy is two this is gonna be three and four right here let me jump down on this guy here okay I guess I got enough <sighs> almost messed everything up Still, and then look in the next. Oof, back of the head, huh? That actually helps a lot with this achievement, the uh, double assassination. All right, let's keep going here. But yeah, so I've been really enjoying this game a lot. It's uh, kind of missed it. And now with the Assassin's Creed, they're they're coming out what like every two or three years I think something Call of Duty is also going to be doing soon which I actually kind of like I don't mind at all you know let them like take a little bit more time give every studio I think Assassin's Creed they got multiple studios working on the game but I don't think they rotate it like Call of Duty like Sledgehammer Infinity War Treyarch they'll work on on a, a certain game throughout the year or three year cycles or whatever it is I think Assassin's Creed is just like 
Ubisoft, like Montreal and like Paris or whatever, and all these different studios just working on one Assassin's Creed at the same time. I think that's how Ubisoft does it, but I could be completely wrong there. Guess I'll get this guy first. Duke! And, uh, yeah. I kinda miss these games, man. Like, I guess I was just way into Call of Duty when this game came out a couple years ago. And that's kind of what threw me off of it because, I mean, it's two completely different games, right? I mean, look what I'm doing right now. I'm literally just crouched in a bush right now trying to figure out a way to kill one of these two guys freaking in order to get this freaking achievement, but... Come here, daddy. Say hello to Uncle Kicks. And yeah, this game's like the Assassin's Creed games. Obviously, Assassin's Creed has always been this like science fiction, uh, alternate reality, historical fiction game, right? But I feel like the last three since the original ones finished off. What number is this, by the way? Is this like seven, six? I don't know. Uh, I feel like they're like. What am I trying to say here? I feel like they've gone way too far now because like now they're getting into like whole mythologies and stuff and I don't know. I kind of like the old ones, man. You know, when it's still partially based in like reality a little bit with a little bit of science fiction in there. You're like meeting Ben Franklin and freaking Da Vinci and all these guys, you know. I don't know, man. It's a fun game, though. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, but I'm certainly having tons of fun with this game. All right, let's finish this off here. I forget what number I'm on. I think I need three more, right? Oof, I thought I pressed the wrong button there for a second. Come here, sir. Stop horsing around. Let me stick my blade into your neck. Actually, I don't even think I have a blade. Right? I think I just got my axe. Hold on. About to see here. Get him, coach. Wow. Oh, I do have a blade. When did I get the blade? Alright, so that's another thing. I'm literally playing the saved game from like two years ago. <laughs> so, if anything happened before these last couple like main quests I don't remember so I probably did get my blade earlier on I think this is the last guy I need right <gasps> no I almost messed that up so bad dude well that is not the last guy I need maybe I need one more this is the last guy I need I don't like this I feel like the guys inside the hut will see me take my sweet ass time here oof we got a few guys this way. Here's a dude here. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this guy coming up. Maybe I should get this guy. I don't know. But anyway, yeah. It's... Hide this guy just in case. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm, I'm having fun, man. I'm probably going to stream myself working towards the Platinum here. Just, you know, get a few hours of streaming in. Uh, get back on that bandwagon or train or I'm not sure what word I'm trying to look for there. But I think this is the last guy. I lost count. Hold on. Let me come in here. This is by far the easiest way to do this. Was actually me whistling. Come heareth. I think that's the achievement, right? Oh my god, I almost freaked that up again. Yes, sir, Silent King. All right, let's go. All right, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you play this game, if you like it, and as always, thank you for watching.